telling the story is really what we want to do. And that's the fundamental idea behind everything that we're doing, is really being able to tell these stories that are going on out there that address these issues. The idea was that we created this website so that uh, people could have access to the work and the work could go out there and we could have more control over not only what we were photographing but what we could put out to the public in terms of what we were seeing. There's very little filter between us and, and the public at this point. Obviously there were so many issues going on, whether it was immigration, healthcare, education, the housing crisis. We were involved with two wars. New Orleans had been flooded with a hurricane and the economic crisis was, was coming in and, and, and starting to affect, uh, you know, specifically in regions in the Rust Belt, Detroit, and the auto industry was being hit. So, you know, all of this was obviously coming to the foreground. We really wanted to document wherever that, that was going to take us. What we find in a lot of these cities across the country, there are individual organizations that are working to affect very positive change within whether it's a housing organization, an unemployment organization, an educational organization. With the technology that's out there, it's really possible to bring local uh, organizations to a national or, or international attention. There's no question that in the beginning we were inspired by the Farm Security Administration of the 1930s that documented the Great Depression. But one of the things that we have managed to do is establish this relationship with the Library of Congress, which houses the Farm Security Administration archive, in which our archive will now be housed. The Library of Congress would talk to us about the idea of photographing for history. Now, what are those things in society today that are going to resonate um, 100, 150 years from now? The project that I did with the Leica sponsorship, Facing Change, is on a, a boxing gym in inner city Cleveland. The, the story of, of, of DeLorean Gray and, and Coach Fred Wilson truly addresses the economic situation of a large portion of this country that remains somewhat invisible. And I think that that's the tragedy in this story. Through the boxing, I was given incredible access to that world and that, and that state of economy. When DeLorean Gray wins the state title, they go back to the hotel room where eight of them are sleeping in one room and they have pizza. In the end, we'd like to kind of be in the NPR photographers.